how the empress became the empress. Roll out the carpet because here comes the rampaging empress. I am the empress because I make choices for my own life. And I know that sounds like super easy. We're like, you're like, okay, yeah, you know, I choose to eat the burger today. You know what I mean? But I find that a lot of people out there actually do not make their own decisions, especially when I work at an establishment. When I ask, okay. You know, um, which vitamin C do you want? It is me, vitamin C. And they're like, I don't know. You pick for me. And I feel like because the way we raise our children, uh, we want the best for, you know, our next generations right now. Parents just like be like, okay, yeah, you just do this and do this and do this. Which never gave the children's, like instead of navigating them through life, they're making decisions for them at young age and they just never learn how to do decision makings anymore. So um, I find that, so my mission as an empress is to help others become recognized and become their own empress or empire, Take cho make choices for your own life according to your own intuition and your own will and never ever betrayed yourself so that's my mission as an empress um a little bit of like what i've done to do that i think one of the biggest thing that i'm doing is just making that choice of um not wanting my trauma to be pour onto anyone else. Um, the why I started Cafe Cadenza is um, I remember when I was younger and um, was in my worst states of emotional physical health, I would lay there and one of the thought was I hope that no human has to experience what I'm experiencing right now. And that's when, you know, the well-being uh, or the wellness center came up to me. That dream of having a wellness center, so that it could help be pro like doing. I want to do something proactive about our broken health system, and that's why I went into nutritionists and, you know, study all the things that can help um, find alternative ways so that people don't have to go to the traditional way. Because when you go to the traditional way you are met up with doctors or nurses or like you know psychiatrists and psychologists or counselors that says there's no way and that's one of the things that makes me really angry when they say there's no way you have to take this pill there's no other way you have to do your radiation mm -hmm. when when i realize and i can see that no there's that's not the only way why are you not giving me another way um, and my experience when I was a kid, as a seven-year-old kid, you know, I always had problems with my knees and there's always these little pain here and there. And my parents and my grandparents have talked to me to see so many, so many doctors. And they said, oh yeah, it's only growing pain. Don't worry about it. Take this pill and you'll be fine. And no, it's not fine. And I've tried so many different ways and nothing worked. And so I got so fed up. And then one of the doctors says, Oh yeah, it's nothing now, but we can't guarantee that um, when you're older, you won't get arthritis. Um, with with a weak knees like yours, you're prone to get arthritis. And I turned around and I said, it's like, no, I, I, back then as a child, I was like, oh yeah, arthritis, you have to be grandma's age, like you have to be 60 to get arthritis. I'm only eight year old. I'm like, well, can't you do anything about it? There's 50 years. There's no way I'm just going to sit here and be like, let my knees turn into arthritis. So I said, isn't there anything to prevent it? And then the doctors just turned to me and be like, oh, you're very smart, why don't you tell me? I'm like, but you're the doctor, you know? So I think with so many little, and there's so many more stories that can add up. And then I'm just like, no, I think 
there was just one day I just woke up and be like, I'm taking everything into my own hands. And I think that's another reason why I have such a high desire for knowledge. Like that's my number one. If you ask me like, what do I desire? Knowledge. If you give me unlimited money or time or space, I will go and like study anything and everything. So I have the knowledge so that I know there can be multiple ways so that it's not, there's no choice. It's here's the multiple ways. Choose the one that makes you feel the best and that line up with your intuition, line up with your, you know, lifetime destiny. And that's what makes me the Empress. And at what point in your life did you like make that decision to be the Empress? I think thanks to one of the exes. Should we say his name? Okay. <laughs> we won't, we won't point you out here. Um, after he left, because that was a really tough time of my life where um, I just signed on to this house that's in the middle of nowhere. Cause that's where I like to be, right? Like it's just in nature and everything. And then he just left. The car broke down. I was stuck in the middle of nowhere. Um, and I, uh, my coworker was nice enough to drive me a couple of times back to, or he, she has her, her, her friend drive me back. But the second time, of course, he was a little mad. He was like, you know, I can't do this for you every time we get off work. And then I all of a sudden feel this hopelessness and I broke down and I'm like, WTF, like why am I let when when I had when I was so dependent on the ex-boyfriend, you know, um, I didn't have a credit card back then, so he was paying the car insurance. Um, anything that has to go on a credit card automatic bill, it was him. And then as soon as he left, I felt like I was like left in this really mess. And then at that time, I woke up and I'm like, why am I leaving my life into somebody else's hands? Whether it's finance, whether it's happiness, whether it's whatever, 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 you know? Um, why am I letting another person decide my life when I can do it? And the, question, the, the answer is fear. I had no confidence in myself. I was told from young age because of my weaker health or you know weaker fatigue that I can't do anything you know and or I'm useless you know because oh, I'm so weak you know and all these all these all these definition of me I I've lived with it all these years oh I can't make it on my own I can't do this on my own I always have to depend on somebody else to do it and then you know, just always watching TV and from, you know, uh, a family that always says, oh yeah, you know, the man is so useless, he's not providing for the family. The man is so useless because he's not doing this, 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 this for the family. I just have this like concept of, oh yeah, you know what, I need to find a, a boyfriend who takes care of me and take care of all my life without complaining. And that was my idea of a partnership when I was younger. And when that guy left, I totally just suddenly wake up and be like, no, that's not the way. Like, I take care of my things. And I think at that turning point, I totally, totally changed. And that was, I think about 10 years ago, I think about 10 years ago. And it took me 10 years to get to this point. And it's not like an overnight thing. It's a small accumulation of actions and choices that I would have to make. And a little bit of, you know, I wouldn't say call them sacrifices, but you know, like decisions that I have to make to be like, you choose this path, yet that's your choice. And then slowly learning what's me and be that independent me and and just slowly stepping up to that those steps of walking up to that throne to me where I'm actually quite happy with myself. I'm not perfect. I still have, I think like 
people are, is a lifetime work. There's never, you know, the work is never done. There's always something to optimize your health, like life, not health, but just life. And um, yeah, the work is never done. And but I'm actually very happy to be where I am right now compared to, you know, 10 years ago that when I made that decision and I look back and there was just never regret that I made that decision. I am the Empress today because I made the decision to choose love and not fear. I am the Empress who shines so bright you have to put on those shades when you look at me. I am the Empress who trusts my ability to handle all situations with wisdom and loving discernment. I am the Empress that is fluid like water and flow freely like a stream. I am living the most authentic me because I dissolve trauma with love.